Hey drone friends, this is Adam at UAV Coach and Drone Pilot Ground School. Happy Friday morning and welcome to our Drone Weekly News Roundup. I first wanted to give a big thank you to everyone for the kind comments last week, welcoming me into this series and for asking great questions. Secondly, let's try out some different backgrounds. Here is one, two, and three. I'll have these three different backgrounds displayed throughout the whole video, and I would love if you could vote in the comments for which one we should use. With that said, I have four stories to share with you this week. Our first story involves CES 2023, which occurred this past weekend in Las Vegas. Tech fans and enthusiasts from around the world gathered to see revolutionary technology that will hopefully help people in all kinds of ways. This is awesome for the drone community as well, as drones are becoming a regular at CES now. This year, they had over 3,000 exhibitors. So here's some of the major drone news that came out of CES 2023. Autel launched the Evo Max 4T drone, which I'll talk more about in the next story. And they also launched the Dragonfish Nest and the Evo Nest. DJI was not allowed to exhibit due to its inclusion in the Department of Defense's blacklist, but it's also unclear if DJI even wanted to exhibit in the first place. Flyability, who are the makers of the Elios 3 indoor drone, were at CES to help promote a short documentary they participated in with Vice News last year. Also, three companies won awards, including Skydio for its scout skill, SkySafe Cloud for its system used to track citywide drone operations, and Drow 4D for its app that lets drones automatically set waypoints and autonomously take pictures for three-day mapping. So a lot of cool stuff. And lastly, Women in Drones had its first ever Hall of Fame ceremony, inducting 11 women into its Hall of Fame. And going off of the last story, one of the coolest drone unveilings at CES 2023 was the launching of the Evo Max 4T by Autel. The Max 4T is a foldable and rugged commercial drone that is made for public safety, inspections, and other serious commercial applications. As of now, Autel has mainly been known for consumer drones designed to compete with DJI, like the Evo Lite, the Evo Nano, and the Evo 3. But after the release of the Max 4T, it is clear that Autel is aiming to get into the commercial drone space. Here are some of the cool features the Max 4T provides. It has a 42 minute flight time, 23 meters per second max flight speed, or 51 miles per hour, it has a wide angle camera, a zoom camera, a thermal camera, and a laser rangefinder. has the ability to fly without GPS, and is also able to fly through obstacles on its own. Additionally, its IP rating is 43, which by doing some quick research, basically means that it is protected against solid objects like wires and nails, and is protected against direct sprays of water. Now, if all of that didn't excite you, I don't know what will. I can't wait to see how this drone performs and what it means for the future of Autel and other drone companies. Our next story really demonstrates how drones are being used in basically every industry and are quite literally helping save lives. A DJI Matrix 600 was recently used to transport a LUN in Canada. The flight took only five minutes, with the drone traveling about one mile from Western Hospital to Toronto General Hospital. Now, drones have been used to transport organs before, but they're typically not used for heart and lung transportation because these types of transplants need to happen within a specific time frame, about four to six hours, and are critical for the donor to survive. So to make this mission possible, researchers conducted over 400 test flights, with one of them being shown here. And at this point, if lungs can be flown and delivered, there is no doubt in my mind that pigs will be able to fly in the coming years. Just saying. Our last story literally dives into one of the biggest sporting events that happened last year. That's right, I'm talking about the World Cup, baby. Although it may be over, we can still enjoy some amazing and exhilarating FPV footage showing just how big the response was in Buenos Aires when Argentina won. What might be crazier to note is this was not even shot in Qatar where the World Cup final was taking place. As you can see, when Argentina won, approximately 4 million fans poured into the streets and even climbed up poles to celebrate an amazing win for their country. And I personally was hoping Argentina would win, sorry France, so I would have loved to be there celebrating with them all. 
And as you can imagine, people from all around the world also celebrated in their homes, just like me, to congratulate Messi and Argentina for taking home the gold. That's all I have for this week. As always, check out the links below to read more about each story. Also, show us some love by subscribing to our YouTube channel, liking this video, and please comment below which background you like the most. Again, one, two, or three. And now I'll pass it off to you. What were you most excited to see or hear about at CES 2023? And how do you feel about drones transporting major organs? And not to get too controversial, but would you have also wanted to be in Buenos Aires to celebrate or maybe <clears throat> uh, somewhere else? Comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I hope you all have a great weekend and to all of our drone pilots out there, blue skies and safe flying.